A mother and son charged with murder, accused of luring a man to his death. They say they didn't do it, but as Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Shannon Perrine found out, police say a Facebook post and phony alibi helped them crack the case. That man was Gerald Orock, who was killed in December. His estranged wife, Lisa Jones Orock, was here in court today wearing an orange jumpsuit. Suggested in court once again today that Mr. Orock in his lifetime spent a lot of time beating his wife. Police took the stand to talk about this woman, Lisa Jones Orock, and about the night her estranged husband was beaten to death. A witness saw the beating in a grocery store parking lot in Elwood City. That witness told police he saw a man beat another man with a large club, and a woman was nearby. Police caught up with Lisa Jones and her son, Zachary Jones. While Lisa was being interviewed by police, they discovered that Zachary wrote on Facebook that, quote, I didn't take a liking to it, but he had beat the expletive out of my mom more times than she deserved. Police say Lisa asked her husband to meet him in that parking lot under false pretenses, and that's when Zachary attacked. An investigator testified that at first, Lisa Jones O'Rock gave him an alibi that she was at a friend's house watching the Steelers game. They say that alibi did not hold up. Mother and son both pled not guilty and will go to trial in this homicide. In Lawrence County, I'm Shannon Perron, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.